Well, good evening, all my little Pokemons. You two are good tonight. Feeling much better than I was Monday night. <clears throat> now, if you didn't notice, I didn't post a video through Tuesday morning, or, you know, again at all on Tuesday, period, or for Wednesday morning here. No, I was definitely not in the mood. Um, <clears throat> have videos, but I just didn't record anything new, because, well, after I posted my Monday video, the Monday night one, about feeling a little depressed, I had a few commenters. Now, not to say everyone was mean or saying things that would, you know, not make for a good feeling. There were a few that failed to meet the mark of pleasant, while in the air of pretend acting like they're trying to help a situation. Let me be clear, anyone that commented something even as simple as just hugs or I totally understand, uh, don't do things for just for the public, just for the members, it'll just tear you up inside, stuff like that. You're all awesome. Anyone that said, like, I love your videos, they're amazing. I'm sorry you're going through this. You're all awesome. And for the ones who apparently missed the mark a little bit, uh, like telling me, you should just do more variety. <laughs> did you watch the video? Did you listen to what I said? Anytime I did something variety, yes, anything different. It's no views. It is nothing. Uh, so yeah, uh, no, that that didn't help, but didn't hurt. <sighs> there were a few comments and one setup that really specifically made me. I, I kind of broke down a little bit after I've been trying to digest it. Um, in multiple paragraph form telling me that absolutely everything I've done over the last year and a half or so on YouTube, I was doing absolutely everything wrong. <clears throat> yep. Nothing I was doing was at all right. Um, the 477 followers I think I have now, that's one of I want again. Uh, apparently I don't deserve any of that because I don't have an intro, I don't have an official outro uh, on my videos. Uh, I don't make thumbnails that are correct. Uh, apparently my titles are horrible. Uh, you can't hear my voice well enough because it's muffled in the fursuit. Um, I'm too quiet during other times. I, uh, my videos are too long. Um, to, to add a, a little list there of most of the things I remember seeing in these comments uh, in paragraph form, telling me how I was doing everything wrong. So to say the least, Tuesday night, I did not have a good night. <laughs> you thought I felt bad on Monday when I gave the depressed uh, video. Yeah, it gets worse after people tell you why you're depressed. It's your own fault that absolutely everything you're doing is wrong. That doesn't help a situation. Just just a word out to all of the internet. Depressed person, the answer isn't just tell them they're wrong. Um, no. <laughs> <sighs> so that being said, yes, I feel a lot better. I calmed down a lot. I decided to ignore that person for now. And, um, not take any more advice from them business-wise uh, for the time being because, well, A, I do watch YouTube videos over five minutes. In fact, I kind of get annoyed when I see a video is less than five minutes because, like, what's the point of me clicking on this? They have a minute and a half intro. They have a minute and a half outro. So what I got, two minutes of uh, meat in the middle there? That actually, to me, is dumb. Um... And not to complain about anyone having missed their videos, but like all the Patreons being listeners or something, 
So if you have a five minute video and like four minutes of it is just listing your patrons after you're done talking, that would be stupid. Fortunately, no one I watch does quite that much. You know, yes, there's an end with their patrons listed, but they tend to have more videos than the amount of, you know, list time. <laughs> um, also, more than enough people talk in fursuit on video and actually record from the fursuit. I actually been told my audio was pretty darn good for having been coming out of fursuit. Uh, big secret. Um, I actually tried several different microphones I have around um, before I wound up figuring out... Wait, you're kidding. The one with the webcam on both computers is the better microphone? Seriously? So, uh, yeah. Uh, this right now I'm recording in the living room, so it's on the tiny laptop, and yeah, it's audio is pretty darn good. Um, the one in the uh, computer room at my desktop is, well, I don't have the better lighting in there, so that's why I'm not here. Um, it's, uh, audio is really, really good for a $30 webcam. <clears throat> no, I don't have a $200 microphone next to my desk. No, I don't have a $200 camera next to my desk to record all this stuff. Did, did we go back to a point of, I don't make anything really on, on this? I'm not going to invest hundreds upon hundreds of dollars in camera equipment or audio equipment to not get anything out of it. That's, that's not smart. That is not good business sense. So, yeah. This is me complaining about people telling me what to do. What I like to do on YouTube is be able to come on, make a video, post a video. I don't have video editing skills. I am not pretending I do. I am wholeheartedly telling you. I don't have video editing skills. I can cut the ends off of videos and figure out how to do that. I can merge two videos together. I figure out how to do that. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much my skills. I'm okay with that. You know what? I tend to be happy with whatever I record in one take. If there's a mistake in a video, like I say something silly or I get twist over a word, well, that's entertainment for you. You get to see me really doing something stupid on camera. Ta-da. <laughs> um, one thing I do tend to do is I... When I'm doing a full suit video, I, you know, as I do that little pause in the beginning, after I get a little intro, notice I actually have an intro. They, they seem to pass by that, the person who was complaining. I make an intro every single video. <sighs> every single full suit video. I don't know if I did for this or not. I'm just a little going crazy at you. Um, and I tend to end with the same thing. In fact, I've had people quoting it out to me in real life when they saw me. <laughs> Ring a little dingly bell. <laughs> yes, I do that every single time. It's always a fresh recording. I'd rather have a good solid intro and outro that I am happy with that happens to be modular enough to appease every single video. Now, we'll get past yesterday and uh, feeling really depressed, spending time on the couch crying, feeling bad about myself, just feeling like just low-level shit for the remainder of the night. That's all well and good. I got through that. This morning I woke up feeling a lot better about myself. I'm not feeling so grumpy about any of the people or the situation not having any potential profit out of YouTube for the next, say, decade, assuming they don't raise the bar again before that happens. <sighs> the scary thing is I will probably make the 4,000 watch hours in a year uh, a rolling year before this actual, uh, before this year of YouTubing uh, runs out, I will probably be hitting that. Um, so, uh, there's that. Um, but if you don't have that thousand subscribers, you're not allowed to make shit. Thanks, YouTube. Keep it classy. <clears throat> but, there are other avenues. There's Patreon, of which I make about five or six dollars a month. 
So this is really happiness there for five or six dollars. Um, I appreciate though all of my patrons that are willing to spend money on me. You are all amazing. You believe in me. I know the rest of the internet doesn't care, but uh, or can't care. But at least they watch my videos, so that's something. <sighs> so, uh, due to a conversation I was having with someone today on Telegram, I actually decided something I could successfully do with a $20 tier, because it was something they were asking for, and I just didn't want to give it to them for nothing. One-on-one -on -one video chat with one of my characters, and I would happily put on a full suit, whatever full suit you're questioning about, uh, or, and whatever dress or whatever, or say about 20 minutes. I'll give you a 15 to 20 minute of on-camera conversation with whatever character it is. I'll use stand up, do a turnaround, what, whatever you want for you. It's your, it's your dime, spill it. And yeah, I was okay with that. They seemed okay with that. And they were, you know, that, yeah, 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 I won't, I won't mini mouse. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, that's, that's fine. And, uh, well, what dresses do you have for them? Like, Anything on my channel will fit on her. It's a Zentai. If it can fit on my body, it fits Minnie. <laughs> so, okay. Go take a picture of this dress. Uh, okay. And unzipped. Uh, okay. All right. No, not that dress. That's not the right dress. Oh, I'm sorry. I got the wrong princess. I went and took a picture of the other dress. Okay. What about this dress? Does it have a zipper? Uh, no. Oh, okay. What about this dress? Does it have a zipper? I think so. You take a picture of that? It's it's not upstairs. I can't do that right now. What about this other dress? Do you, can you take a picture of that? It, it's downstairs. Um, did you pick the one you wanted? Oh, I don't have any money. Oh. So you have me running around taking pictures of you of dresses unzipped, aka making me give you free porn, um, essentially, to any given person, porn can be a different item. Um, yes, an unzipped outfit is essentially a turn-on to a lot of people. This I knew. I am more than okay without being a turn-on. Dude, have you ever seen some of those, like, opened up plush suits ready to be entered into? <clears throat> yeah, man. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of good photos of, out there of that. Uh, and that's some, you know, if, if that's what you're into, I understand that. That's fine. Uh, yeah. So when I ask, oh, well, so do, do, do you want, did you pick what dress you wanted? Oh, I don't have money. And my job's going to be gone by the end of the year, so I'm not going to have money. Oh, so you've wasted my time. Dangling a $20 bill in front of my face. So let me know you didn't have $20, nor were you going to. No. <laughs> Do not waste my time. Telling me all the things that you want me to show you. If you're not going to pay. <sighs> this is not free. Granted, the YouTube channel is free. You're, you're getting that. Whatever I put up here is free. One-on-one -on -one time with me is not cheap to me. Not saying like I'm, you know, 100% sold on and I make you the ultimate spectacle of perfection and blah, blah, blah. What I'm saying is, it takes my time to get that set up. It takes my time to get the lighting right, on the outfit, fursuit, get on camera, and spend time one-on-one -on -one just for that person entertaining them. Essentially, you're paying for an hour of my existence. I have to take the, depending on what complexity of the outfit you ask for, take time to put on the fursuit, put on the dress. That could be easily 20 to 30 minutes of my time that you are taking up. Plus then the time sitting on the video chat with you. That's easily, that, that's 15 to 20 minutes there. So we're upwards of easily 50 minutes 
And afterwards, about 10 to 20 minutes of getting out of everything and putting everything back. And getting my life back to normal. You have got over an hour of my time easily. And all I'm asking is a 20. Honestly, that's not very much. And it's dedicated costume equipment, meaning if you take into account the fact that I had to pay for this stuff, you're covering the little bit of the cost of the purchased item. This is the normal business transaction. Why don't you do it for free? Hold on, let me see. I'll pull this one down. I'll pull this one down. <gasps> Would you look at that? Would you look at that? I mean, I, that, that's apparently how this works. It's a, a single minute thing. Oh, oh. All right. I'm going to say something out here for... I'm going to talk for every artist of every kind. Any sort of artist. Culinary artist. Musical artist. Artist who works in pottery. Artist who works in fursuiting. Um, artist of drawing on paper or on computer. Any kind of artist. Whatever you have as your personal form of art form. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to talk for all of you right now. No one ever should be allowed to tell you what you do should be free. Now, if you give things out for free, that's your prerogative. A.K.A. You drew art. You post on FA. Good for you. Or you put on your Twitter. Uh, you're getting attention out of it. You're still getting something. Uh, from the mass. Also, you're effectively advertising for your potential commissioning. And some of that art may have been commissioned artwork. So, say you got commissioned by Fubri Wolf. And they wanted a rent on doing something sexual. Cool. You post that onto your FA. Not only did you make Flubity Wolf happy, they paid you, but you made other people happy because they saw the thing that Flubity Wolf paid you for. Cool. Telling any artist that they should spend an hour of their free time making something for you, just you, that no one else gets, should be free. Y'all can fuck right off. Fuck right off. Again, if you choose to do something for free, something that you're being nice, I do that all the time with art. I don't advertise to people to ask me for free art. I may draw free art by willingness. I figure out things I want to draw, and I draw them. Cool. Free. I make a YouTube channel, which is darn near for free. Fine. I hope one day it's not a free situation. <laughs> I'm sorry. Six dollars a month. Six dollars a month. Um, and I keep doing this. It's not going to be every day still. But do not ever tell an artist their work does not deserve to be worth any money. I don't care how bad a drawing a artist does. It's worth something. And if you, I ever hear any of you in person telling an artist that they should do you their, uh, their work of whatever sort for free, I'm probably going to hit you. That's, 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 that's just, that's just, no. You can be unhappy that something's more expensive than you think it's worth, but you're not the one that gets to judge how much it's worth. The person selling it is. I have quite a few artists that I would love, love to commission or purchase some of their wares. There's a local one here that makes pottery. Oh my God. She does beautiful pottery. Um... In fact, she did a really awesome Renamon mug. I think it was uh, a few months back. She did a bunch of them, and I would love one. 
she charges about $50. I can't say she's wrong. I completely understand. It's a handcrafted object with an image imprinted on it. She actually makes these things, physically makes the clay object and bakes it and... Okay, I can't tell her she's wrong with the price. 100%, she's right. I can say I can't afford it. I want it, but I can't afford it. Um, there's several artists I really love. Um, and I, I, I wish I could afford but I can't really, uh, you know, personally put down two or three hundred dollars for a single character picture. It's a little outside of my budget, but I, it's not my job to tell them that they're not valued at two hundred dollars. If there are to them, if they put up, they're putting X amount of time into it, there's enough skill put into it, yes, they're two hundred dollars. They're selling their product at two hundred dollars or buying their product at $200. Therefore, it's a valid transaction. It's a valid value. Um, what can I say? If someone's able to sell their stuff at X price, I can't stop them. I can't necessarily afford them, but I can't stop them from selling it at that price. So, yeah. Don't judge an artist to be not worth paying money for, for anyone. Telling them they're not worth, you know, anything, that they should just give out their art form for free, you may fuck the right off. And I do not want to have to spend any more time with you if you think that's how artists are. So yeah. That's out of a conversation with me today, and uh, I'm running around like a chicken with a head cut off trying to go take pictures of dresses for someone who thinks I should just do things for free, because, no. And they're getting all depressed, like, oh, are you going to go take pictures of the other ones that were downstairs? Alright, if you're watching this video, I can answer that. No. You made me that, eh? person who paragraphed at me yesterday, they made me bad. I don't give up free things to people who jerk me around, make me cry, or make me feel bad, or tell me that things aren't worth money. So, <clears throat> there we are. Grumpy YouTube for you today. Uh, Monday you got sad YouTube. Wednesday here you get angry YouTube. Hopefully we'll be back to something semi-normal after this. Oh yeah. Anyway, that's what came out of my head for tonight. Since I'm feeling a lot better about life, I will say my usual stuff. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the little dingly bell. The little dingly bell will help you notice when I post new videos. Who knows? Could be me too. Could me be in most. Uh, definitely will be me in a better mood. It's rare that I get sad that's able to get past my frontal facade. It's rare that I actually let myself get angry and show it off to the world. I try to avoid that. But, uh, when you legit piss me off, I don't hide it. And of course, both my Patreon link and my coffee link are in the description box below, which are good ways to help support me and my channel. And of course, uh, let me know that my art is worthwhile to you. Um, and of course, that new little bonus on the Patreon, if you go for the $20 one, yeah, I will give you a video chat, 15 to 20 minutes, any character, any outfit, um, once a month, effectively, as long as you keep paying the Patreon fee. I'll do that for you. We'll arrange time. We can do this. Um, Five dollars gets you the ability to tell me, like, a story and a big old topic to go on. And for a dollar, uh, you get to pick an outfit and character to be on a full suit video. Or, uh, on my Picardo streams, or uh, you can tell me one of my characters 
to uh, draw for myself, possibly with an outfit. You can put in a suggestion. It's not a guarantee. You may put in a suggestion. Um, and, uh, yeah, on Twitch, for a dollar, I can, you can tell me to do something stupid in my game. Like, jump off a cliff, or, you know, pick a different mission to go shooting at in Borderlands. Start a different character. I don't know. You can tell me something to do, and as long as not completely stupid, yeah, I'll probably do it. I mean, if you're a Patreon, you paid a dollar. You thought I was worth money. You think my art is worth looking at. The job is you. <sighs> yeah. So, feeling better. We'll probably get back to posting some more videos. Probably not every day, but uh, we'll see what happens. This is your video for tonight slash tomorrow morning. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Anyone wants to give me constructive criticism? It's fine. If I ignore it, that tells you how much I care. I'm not going to go learn video editing skills for a lot of this stuff. I'm not going to change how I shoot videos, really. Uh, I do what I do because I can do it. I shoot what I shoot because it's possible to shoot it. Asking me to change a lot of stuff, learn a lot of extra things and make extra steps and make it process, ruining the fun. And I'm not kidding when I say, Tuesday night I actually considered stopping 100%. I almost made that the night I quit YouTube. Um, but I decided to say, fuck all that. I'm going to do what I do. If you watch, cool. If you think I'm worth paying for, even better. If you want to subscribe, I love you. If you want to put on Patreon or coffee, I really love you. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to toddle on off and probably get dinner started for my, uh, Foxy. You know? You two thinks you're all, all the ones that uh, are going to try and use me. All of those ones are awesome. And I look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. So for now, you two's watching you. He always keeps an eye on you.